Okay, so here's the truth about building Shopify apps that none of these other YouTube channels are gonna tell you about. They're all just gonna show you, hey, here's how you build this Shopify app in Remix, and here's how you do it in this language, Node.js or PHP, but they're all not gonna tell you the one thing that's actually important that honestly is the deciding factor on whether you build a successful Shopify app that actually gets customers, gets people to pay for it, and creates that freedom that you want versus just having a hobby and knowing how to build an app, but not knowing how to solve a real problem for people. And that skill that you need is marketing. I'm a developer too. I hate marketing, not a fan, but I understand how important it is now. You can't just move with the mentality of build it and they will come. They will not come, okay? You need to let people know that you're trying to solve a problem that they have and show them how you can actually solve it in order for them to use your app. I get that now. Honestly, I'm trying to figure it out myself. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about what I've learned about doing marketing for a Shopify app company. And by the way, if anybody's watching, and they really have a strong understanding of how to do marketing for Shopify apps or for SaaS businesses in general, please hit me up. I would love to learn more about that stuff. So let's talk about marketing, shall we? Okay, so here is the first marketing skill you gotta know for Shopify app development, market research. Now this one is all about finding a good problem to solve with your app. This is one that I struggled with for a long time and to be honest, I still kind of struggle with it because I'm an overthinker. And when you give me too many options, it's really difficult for me to choose one. And there are so many different app categories and problems to solve that I got overwhelmed. So I talked to some other Shopify app developers that I know, and they all told me, Patrick, the best thing you can do is to go find real people that work in Shopify stores or that own Shopify stores and just talk to them about what their problems are. And I'm like, wow, that's great advice. But how do I find these people? For a long time, I had no idea how to find them, but now I do have some ideas as to where you can find them. So listen up, take out a notebook or something. You're gonna wanna write this one down. All right, so the first place you can go to find them, and this is something that I did, is go to Shopify events. So I live in New York. And there's a Shopify event called the New York Commerce Club that is run a few times a year. And every time I go to this event, I meet Shopify Plus merchants. And I get to talk to them and talk to them about stuff that they're doing in their store and things that they're working on. It's a great way to get a better understanding of the e-commerce business model in general, as well as to start talking to some real people. Now, in order to get into that specific event, you have to actually work with Shopify Plus merchants, which I'm lucky enough to be able to do. But... The point is just go to events. So going to events is a great way to meet people. It's also a great way to get a job as well if you're looking for one. Okay, so two other tips for you to find merchants. Another one that I figured out is to join online groups and start talking to people in there. So think things like the official Shopify subreddit, the Shopify community forum, LinkedIn groups for Shopify, and you can also try school communities for Shopify stuff as well. Now, normally I'd add Facebook groups to this list, but I'll be honest, every Facebook group that I joined about e-commerce is full of spam. People saying, let me build a website for you. I build a website for you. Oh, I can do this, I can do that. Oh, I know this, do that. I didn't find one actual Shopify merchant that posted anything, just a bunch of developers trying to get work. So if you're looking to do market research, Make sure you're wary of that. If you join any group and it's full of a ton of developers talking about stuff, probably not the best place for you. All right, now this last tip on where to find merchants is actually a super secret tip, so you'll be glad you're watching this video. Here is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to make a LinkedIn account. Make a LinkedIn account and then search up Shopify app or just Shopify and look for the posts. So all the posts and everyone that's talking about Shopify app stuff, or just different things related to Shopify businesses, make sure you follow all of them. Follow, 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 follow. Oh, like, like, like. And then maybe you might wanna engage and comment on some of the posts. So by doing that, you're sending signals to LinkedIn that say, hey, LinkedIn, I want you to curate my algorithm on LinkedIn to only show me Shopify stuff. So I did that. And now, every time I log into LinkedIn, 
all I see is Shopify stuff. So it's really easy for me to go in and be like, okay, let me just scroll through this and see what's going on. So instead of me going to Instagram and scrolling, I go on LinkedIn, I'm able to gather a bunch of different ideas. And now I got a better sense of what people are dealing with, what kind of problems they have. Now by doing this, I didn't find many burning pain points, but what I did find is where a lot of Shopify store owners are spending their money. Like what app categories are the most relevant for them. And by knowing this, I can now choose to build in popular app categories to give myself the best chance of finding a great problem to solve. So I'm personally building an app in the Shopify bundle category because I do know a little bit about Shopify bundles, but some other popular categories are subscriptions, upsells and cross sells, stuff related to inventory. But honestly, your best bet, like I said, make that LinkedIn account, start scrolling, start scrolling. You're gonna find stuff and you're gonna feel more tapped in than you did before. So you're welcome. Okay, once you got the whole market research thing down, the next marketing problem you're gonna have is, how do you find your first customer? Now, I'm no expert at this, but I did talk to one a few months ago, and here's what he told me. To get my first 10 users, if I were to start over today, I'd probably hang out where the merchants are hanging out. I'd be hanging out like on Shopify forums, on like, on on Reddit, you know? Um, you know, there are also like Shopify specific, um, like paid communities, like paid Facebook groups and stuff like that, private groups. Um, I try to work my way into there and just sit there and listen for good problems, right? And when you find somebody who has an interesting or good problem in this in the space that you want to go down or like the path that you want to go down, you know, um, you can start engaging with that person. That's how I'd find my first customer. So just like Andrew said in the video that I just showed you, your best move to find your first customer is to reach out to people one-on-one -on -one and try to engage with someone that's willing to try your app as well as give you good feedback. Now, my plan for this actually is to reach out to some of the people that are on my email list, people like you watching this video right now, and see if you're down to help me test out my app. Remember I said I'm building something in the bundling space. So if you're looking to improve or set up bundles on your Shopify store and you wanna help me test this app out for free, send me an email. But assuming you guys in my email list all hate me and nobody actually wants to help me do this, I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing Andrew said and start reaching out to people online, one-on-one -on -one, or people that I meet at events to see who's willing to help me out. And again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, your best places to find merchants online just like Andrew said, is different Shopify groups, the Shopify community forum, the Shopify subreddit, school communities for Shopify. He mentioned that it'd be a good idea to get into paid communities for e-commerce. School has lots of paid communities for e-commerce, so that might be a route you can go or LinkedIn groups, or just anywhere people are talking about e-commerce stuff. It doesn't even have to be a Shopify specific group. You could also join an e-commerce group in general and see what problems people are having in other platforms. Let's say, for example, someone's talking about a WooCommerce problem, and then you realize the feature they're talking about actually doesn't exist in Shopify. That might be a big opportunity to go build it yourself. Don't ever say I never gave you any ideas. Okay, so let's say you managed to find one Shopify store owner willing to help you and test out your app and get you ready to actually launch this thing. Now, I don't want you to crack the champagne yet because there's one last marketing problem you gotta solve before you can celebrate. And that problem is called how to get more customers. So you managed to get one customer, now you have to come up with a way to get more customers. I know, again, I'm not an expert in this. So let's hear from someone who is. If you're that solopreneur, there are only four things that you can do to get leads. You reach out to people you know, you reach out to people you don't know, you post content, and you run ads. That's it. That's all there is. And if you're not doing those four things, whether it's to get affiliates, to get customers, to get employees, to get agencies, it doesn't matter because those are the only four things that one person can do to let other people know about their stuff. So if you're not getting enough leads, you're not doing enough of that. All right, we're going to pause it. If you're that solopreneur, there are only four things that you can do to get leads. You reach out to people you know. You Okay, so the first thing he said is reaching out to people you know. This assumes you have a network of people you can already ask or people who already know who you are that you can talk to. So if you've gone to Shopify events, great way to meet people. If you've engaged with some people online and talked to them and had a real conversation, technically you know them now and they probably know other store owners. 
So that's a way. So let's say you reach out to the person who tested out your app and you say, hey man, or woman, or whoever it is, do you know anybody else who might wanna try this app and could get value out of it? And that's one way to do that. You reach out to people you don't know, you post- Reach out to people you don't know. So essentially, you same thing you did to find your first customer. Content and you run ads, that's it. And then for three and four, post content. So essentially, you're gonna sit out and make content online, whether it's videos like the one I'm making right now, or maybe you're making posts on Reddit for people to read. Maybe you're inside of one of these little Shopify groups I mentioned, making content for the group to help them with a specific problem that you're trying to solve with your app, or I don't know, making Instagram videos, TikTok videos. You understand what I'm trying to say, post content. And then number four, run ads. Only if you got money and if you're willing to lose money up front to learn how to run ads. I don't know about you, I don't have any money to lose, so I am going with numbers one through three. Now, since my skill set is already in posting content, I'm probably gonna go with number three because that's what I'm already good at. But honestly, one through three, I think is one of the best options for people who don't have any money to get started. And then once you start to make a little money, you know, things are starting to go, then you can play with number four. But that is how you're gonna solve the problem of getting customers straight from Alex Hermosi's mouth himself. So if you manage to do those three things, you'll be in a much better position than all the other Shopify app developers out there who are just randomly building ideas. You're able to do this and learn marketing. You'll be one step closer to building a profitable Shopify app, actually helping real merchants with their business and creating some of that freedom that you wanna create. Or maybe you want the money to put food in your family's plate or whatever it is you wanna do you'll be much closer to that goal. Okay, so before you hop out of here, just wanted to mention, I do have a series documenting me building my first Shopify app. I've been slacking on the uploads recently, but I'm gonna hop back on the horse with this one because it's important. So if you wanna see more stuff about that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, what should you do next? I think you should go check out my most recent upload. It should be somewhere here on the screen. Make sure you go click that and I'm there.